The story, how did it happen that I am here at the Neue Galerie and curating this exhibition of um, Styrian Artist uh, Prize 2021. So once, um, during, in the middle of pandemic times, I came to visit Neue Galerie and precisely I made an appointment with Günther and we had a talk in the hallway with the masks, nearly breathing. And yeah, we introduced each other. And surprisingly, after one week, I got the invitation from Günther and suggesting that if I would like to be the jury of this competition, as well as to create the exhibition from the selected artist's works. So of course I said, sure, I will do that. I was super happy about this. And so here we are um, now installing the old exhibition and yeah, working with artists and soon we will have the opening. I'm an artist myself and I started coming to Austria uh, in 2015 when I received the residency program in Krems, um, Lower Austria. And I did this residency program and since then, I started to get to know um, the art scene of Austrian artists. Uh, so in 2017, I had the residency program with Kulturkontakt in Vienna. And 2019, in Graz as well, for three months, um, with the Forum Stadtpark. Here, I did as well the solo show at the Forum Stadtpark. Um, and, and then, yes, I'm always like, quite often actually, going to Vienna and meeting the artists, going to the studios. And uh, recently, um, we opened the exhibition which I curated as well in Vilnius um, at the Lithuanian National Museum of Art. And there I'm representing 14 artists uh, from Austria or living in Austria. And um, that's an absolutely totally different concept of the exhibition there. But uh, it's, it was the first try to work with a big team, with a big group of artists. It was super difficult, of course. Um, so I went through that, and this is the second, second time working with a big, big group of artists during these group shows. I enrolled to the Art Academy at the Photography and Media Department. Uh, many years ago, back then. <laughs> and um, I started doing the exhibitions and solo, participating in solo shows and group shows, international and local ones. And, and then uh, about a year ago, I started working as a curator because I thought, um, why not to try to, to work as a curator because you have all those skills as an artist. Um, artistic skills, uh, experience and knowledge brought together with yourself. And you can for sure use that in cu curating, right? And actually I found it that it's even more convenient because you understand the artist as being as a, an artist yourself. For instance, if you have lots of issues with them, sometimes you have issues with artists. <laughs> so you kind of, um, uh, put yourself in, the, in their perspective and understand them. They, you know, sometimes they're getting into these uh, other ideas and they're not becoming flexible and so on and so on. So I know that as a curator, probably as being as a curator, just um, could be difficult to communicate more with the artist than being as an artist and curator. Uh, let's start probably from the competition when I came uh, in July to select their artworks from 152 applications and probably subco subconsciously I was choosing the works which were fitting already together but yet I didn't have the concept back then of course uh, but during the overview when I selected the 12 artists it's kind of was already leading to that way something like absurdity, fun, but that was so abstract. So the whole planning of the 
exhibition went through exactly when I was in the space, and that's where the full concept came um, and the idea, uh, as the title suggests already, a playground uh, get to getting lost, right? And so it's kind of, well, when you walk through the space uh, and see the art pieces, some of the viewers, visitors could find themselves or find their childhood or get into their memories. So the significant uh, moments probably of the exhibition, the artworks, they are so diverse in a diverse medium. So we can, we can find paintings, we can find sound installations, we can find ceramic, we can find sculptures, um, noisy sound installations, for instance. Um, but also, probably, if we talk about the childhood, which, which probably everyone would agree that the word with, which we could describe is uh, fragility. So lots of works are super fragile here. I'm not talking just about the material they are made, meaning like, for instance, there are some works from porcelain, but also we have, you know, like fragile thinking of the artist, let's say. For, for instance, the main prize winner, Georg Haberler, who is uh, stitching the painting and doing this little, um, universe of, of himself, you know, and when you see them in the exhibition, they are so detailed and so sensitive, sensitively made. Um, there are also this, if we talk about um, Alfred Lenz, for instance, work, um, which, which uh, I believe the viewers, the visitors, will have fun in that room. And the blue, I call it already blue room. And um, where the two little clouds are going above the ceiling. And with this uh, mechanical sound. I believe that uh, everyone could really remember or the reminiscence would come from even not the childhood. Let's say you lie somewhere in a field and you watch the clouds and you see some uh, forms or animals in those clouds. So imagine. It's all a lot about imagination as well. And I think it's, it's really strong because you, you have so diverse um, universes of each artist here.